All right, man, so we got this horrific story coming out of Houston, Texas, uh, the city that I preside in. And it happened at the Gallery of Mall, which is crazy because the Gallery of Mall is one of those big, luxurious malls where you got Gucci and Fendi and Rolex and all these type of places. And the things they're doing to these children is insane. So you got this guy right here. Obviously, he, I'm not... I'm, uh, we'll get into it. Man is in federal custody, charged with sexually assaulting children at the Galleria, and then posting the videos online. This is truly disturbing, and of course, we want to warn you that these allegations, as I mentioned, disturbing, and we want to give you a moment if you need to walk away. ABC 13's Liliana Pearson joining us now live outside the mall. Liliana, uh, the court documents that you've read, the stuff that Meyer and I have seen, just pages and pages of horrific details. It really is, and it was actually fairly difficult to try to read through those documents of exactly what this man is accused of doing to not only one, but at least two children. He's now in federal custody, accused of sexually exploiting children. The court documents tell of a disgusting pattern of assault. They outline four short videos that were posted online showing the sexual assault of two two-year-olds where more than one perpetrator was present. The documents say Arthur Fernandez III had access to both children in the mall because their mothers worked there and would sometimes bring their child when they were unable to get child care. Fernandez worked at a nearby key. Is that thing of me as a parent? This is why I don't trust people with my kids. I don't care. If, I'm sorry. I don't care if you're my best friend. I don't really feel comfortable leaving my kids with people that are not family. And I know family people do things to kids as well. But to leave my children, I'm not blaming the mothers, but to leave my children with some rant, not only he's random, but some guy at the mall to think that he's going to be able to give them good child care. I'm, I'm sorry. You just you just can't work that in. I'm sorry. Now, like I said, they didn't know this guy was going in the bathroom with their children and doing things to them. But I'm just not leaving my kids with, with a dude at a kiosk at the mall kiosk in the mall and would offer to watch them. It was during those times, we're told, Fernandez would bring the child into a bathroom, assault them, and take videos. In those videos, upwards of seven people could be heard making vulgar comments and could be seen assaulting the child, though only Fernandez is charged. We spoke to the FBI today, who wouldn't comment on the case itself, but did warn parents that unfortunately, the vast majority of predators are someone you already know. The perpetrators of these crimes are family members, uh, teachers, uh, a member of the community. Oftentimes, we're looking, folks are looking for the monster, the white van pulling up, uh, but it's the person that you know. The videos they took were posted online and. It's always the person that you know because that's the person who has the ease of access. Like it's, I get it. Like he said, the van, the kidnapper, da da da. But it's the person that has. They're right there. The kids right there. Oh, I watch your kids for you, girl. Oh, Cindy got to go to the bathroom. Then I'm gonna have seven guys in there. We're gonna assault your child. These people. This guy won. I don't even want him to get the death penalty. Like I know that's the thing. I'll give him the death penalty. That's too easy. That's too easy for a guy like this. A guy like this. I want him to get put in general population for his entire sentence, right? Don't put him in PC where you, because you obviously tell what kind of guy he is. Don't put him in PC with the where you usually put people like that. Put him in gym pop. Let him put out. Let him pull out that pocket. Let him have the grabs my pocket and let him be the victim of seven people at one time. Now that'll never d diminish the trauma that these toddlers. We're talking about like little kids, babies, had to deal with by this guy and and, and seven other people. But at least he'll live a life of that. And I want him to be labeled as that. So that not just one time seven inmates can come and ram through him and, and do whatever they got to do to him. Do it to him constantly. That's how I feel about this guy. Don't give him the death penalty. That's too easy. Oh, he's dead. Okay, boom, whatever. No. Have him live a life of trauma every single day. That's what I want for a guy like this. An Australian group investigating child sex crimes found them, alerting the FBI. The FBI was able to identify one of the children and contact the mother. She was able to identify Fernandez through jewelry and shoes he was wearing in the video. The second child was determined to be related to Fernandez's former boyfriend. That child's mother also identified Fernandez through what he was wearing. So her former boyfriend... Child, she was related to Fernandez's former boyfriend. So it's like my probably cousin's boyfriend. You can watch. See, no, no. Too many degrees of separation. Like the person already said, like, yeah, I get it. Your family members can do stuff to your kids. Kind of at that point, there ain't nothing you can really do about that. You just got to, you know, you got to kind of take that risk. But like, 
second cousin's boyfriend. I'm good. Wearing. The others in the video have not been identified. The FBI says it takes global teamwork to solve these disturbing. I need Fernandez to give up all those people, all seven people. And don't, and my thing with this, please, FBI, if he gives up those seven people, don't be lenient. Don't give him a lesser sentence. He's supposed to do that. He's supposed to give up the seven other people. So don't be like, hey, if you give up these seven people, we'll give you less time. No, please don't do it. And I get it. If he doesn't give them up, we probably won't find these people. I don't think that's necessarily true. I feel like there's a way y'all could web together and find these people. Obviously, these people probably work at the mall as well. They probably got a ring of this shit going on somewhere at the mall. Um, I just don't want this guy to get less time. I just don't. Now you can say, oh, well, we'll give you, we'll put you in a more accommodating space, still put him in like a space where he can get, like I said, uh, traumatized every day, but don't just, uh, we'll get, we'll get cases. The more that we do, uh, the more hurt that we can stop, the more folks we can identify that's out there trying to harm children. The FBI did raid Fernandez's home where they confiscated electronic devices and articles of clothing that matched clothes seen in the video. Fernandez was arrested in December and is in federal custody. I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Now, if you know of a child or someone that has been a victim of sexual abuse, you're asked to call 911 immediately. You can also go to our webpage. Okay, so yeah, like I said with that guy, I don't want him to get the penalty. I want him to get traumatized every single day because people like that to me are sick and disgusting. To even be able to function and do that to a child to me is insane. And just the point I was making earlier about him being of a certain community, I would never say that everybody in that community does those things, but it just made me feel like this guy, probably has something done to him that's why he's per perpetrating ads on the kids uh that he's doing because it probably happened to him as well definitely does not make it okay definitely does not make it right but i, I can see where that correlation may lie when people say that certain things correlate to certain things not everybody but there is times where that situation where you get assaulted as a child where you start assaulting people and then you become a part of a certain community and that's why i think about this guy but still go to hell and go and be traumatized every day in the pen for the rest of his life not the penalty don't do it like i said that guy's sick he's disgusting and i hope he gets the worst of the worst but like i said it's a very triggering story because like i said i have kids and i don't know what i'd be able to do like um if this was me and this happened and i go to court like i don't know if i attack somebody in court if you're allowed to come back to court after that but let me tell you something I'm trying to attack this dude every single time we're in court. Or maybe I'll sit through the trial just every day. I'm getting closer. Now I'm getting closer. I'm peeping the scene. Okay, there's two guards. There's this there. Okay. I got at least put, I got to put, I got to put hands on him. I can't just allow like, okay, the justice, we're going to, I got to have some part and put my hands on this guy as well. And if I said, if somebody was to murder this guy and these other guys, I have no sympathy, no remorse. I would hope that this person doesn't get sent in prison because at the end of the day, when somebody does this to your child, like your seed violates him in this way, especially as a parent, because then you'll start feeling guilty as where you couldn't protect your child, even though I know you can't protect your child in every single moment of the day. You got a job. They got to go to school. They got to do this. But you just allow the parents to do it. Or we just take it old school. Allow for stonings. Allow for things of that nature. Because if I can't do it myself, at least allow me to stone this person. Um to get some type of retribution for myself. But anyways, so I got for you guys. I'm not sure you guys in the comment section down below. Very sick, very tragic, very sad. I had to convince myself that I'm going to make it, you know, regardless of how people felt at that time. And what it does is it makes you feel like, well, it made me feel like there's going to be points that people are going to mistake my confidence for arrogance. They don't understand the process I went through mm -hmm. and how much I had to believe in myself in order to make these things happen.